Hey, we're at the NCAA Women's Bowling Regional in Lansing, Michigan. Nebraska has just de defeated Maryville in a thrilling three-game match. Coach, introduce yourself and your two bowlers and provide an opening statement. I'm Paul Klimpa, the head coach for Nebraska. I have on my left Jillian Martin, the sophomore, and Brenna Hartzler, the freshman. And then the opening statement on tough match. Get to yeah, that was, uh, you know, I give a lot of credit to Maryville. They're very well coached. They had a really good tournament and a really good season. And uh, they pushed us to the brink, and we're just happy to come out on the right side of it. It's been a struggle up to this point. Now I think we found something that we got going pretty well. We needed that. Coach, it looked like uh, you know, sometimes it takes a full match to really get comfortable, and it felt that way watching you guys compete. Um, when did you guys decide to make you know, kind of the big jump left and then ultimately get into some bowling balls that you felt comfortable with that you can control down lane? Yeah, it was, you know, it was, I, I would say today the lanes, as opposed to yesterday's match, I thought the lanes kind of stabilized. We didn't move as much or as big. We did make, I think it was after the first Baker game of the best of seven, four out of the five girls changed balls. And thankfully they worked out. And then from there, we didn't have to make big moves, just kind of stay up with it a little bit. And they committed to execution, and that made a big difference. Uh, Brenna, as a freshman, you had two freshmen, actually, in the lineup. You're one of them. Um, describe your feelings in this as someone who is experiencing all of this uh, for the first time in some very important situations. Um, I would say I'm definitely nervous. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't nervous. Um, but this is what we train for. This is what I love to do. I've been doing this a really long time. and. It may be my first year as a freshman in college and my first time doing this, but it's not my first time competing in big situations. And it feels so much better to be able to do it with a team of girls behind me that I love dearly. And it, that just makes it so much sweeter. So yes, I'm nervous, but I feel very supported with my whole team behind me, who I love. Describe the moment um, you lose the traditional point and then you rally to win the five game Baker. At, at that point, like during that portion, what was the mood like described how you guys were feeling? Um, well, we're fighters and we're gritty. And so that was our mindset. It was we've been in situations before where, you know, we lose and we've gotten down before, but this time we knew that we couldn't do that. We've been training for this entire year, but specifically the past five weeks, and we just knew that this is what it led up to. So we were fired up and we were ready to go. Three step Jillian. Uh, <laughs> that, that alone says a lot, uh, but to, to perform, and obviously you're used to performing in, in, in major situations, but uh, what was it like today, um, a couple of times to win the game, and obviously just now to advance to the conference final? Um, I think it's just really different for me, kind of like Brenna said, having a team behind me, so I'm just incredibly grateful for them and their support, and these two coaches have given me the world. So I honestly couldn't imagine myself anywhere else and just being able to go out there and have them behind me. There's a lot more nerves coming in there, but also the win is so much sweeter. Just getting there and having them all kind of come up around you. They were all jumping in a big circle after I threw that second one. And honestly, there's just nothing like it to me. Yeah, how do you prepare yourself for, for that type of moment? Describe that process. I don't know if there's really a preparation. I think obviously being in it helps. So kind of having that, but also just I think there's a lot of mental work, kind of knowing what to say to yourself, how to get yourself in the right mindset to be able to go up there and make those shots. I think that's the biggest thing. And we have actually worked a lot on that in practice. So I think that's definitely helped me. Um, but also too, when you get there, it's never really the same, but just hearing everyone behind you say, you got this, you got this, we got your back and knowing that no matter what happens, they're gonna be there for you, it's great. And then for whoever, all obviously a chance to get to the final four coming up in you know, just over a couple of hours. Uh, you got to flip the switch and get back to, you know, starting a mega match all over again. Um, how do you get back into it? And uh, of course, against a very stout opponent in Young Sales. I think we're pretty good right now, so I think we're just going to chill, hang out, talk together, and I think we'll be able to channel it. Obviously, it's a big high to come off of, and sometimes that can be hard. But I love this team, and I think that us going out there, we're really going to be able to bring that passion. I felt like the switch really flipped that match for us, and I think we're going to be able to continue that momentum going forward. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay.